Being the defending champion, world's number one, Martina Hingis, the 17 year old, and Jana Novotna, the finalist last year, defeated by Hingis, two women born in the Czech Republic. Hingis then moving with her mother at uh, age seven to Switzerland, where they make their home near Trubach, Switzerland. What an incredible young talent she is, and so mature for her 17 years. And the favorite to win this championship has lost five times this year. Last year she was 75 and five, won four titles as Hingis, and here's her trip to the semis. Well, defeated Lisa Raymond, two-time NCAA champ, which was a great win for her. A pair of Russians, Makarova, Lihosova, Tana Sagarin, uh, Thailand's best athlete, and then. The first true test, Arantxa sanchez Vicario, is the first time she looked close to her best in this whole tournament. Jana Novotna is the sentimental favorite of the British. She's nearing her 30th birthday, a servant volleyer, born in Brno and raised there in the Czech Republic and now lives in Antwerp, Belgium. 33 and 9 on the year. Won her first grass title preceding Wimbledon at Eastbourne, and that gave her good vibrations. Here's also, her trip. Yeah, she's also dropped one set Klinova, another talented Russian player in Panova. Karina Moore, are you an American player to look for? Very talented for Leia. And then Venus Williams, just very powerful and very confident, but just wasn't enough for Yana. Her expertise on grass really showed in that match. They have met eight times previously, including last year's Wimbledon final and Hingis enjoys a 6-2 advantage has won the last four matches but when you look at that score of last year's final it was one set all and Novotna was one point for a 3-0 lead in the third and then Hingis came rolling through with her fourth Grand Slam title. She's won the Australian twice last year and again early this year Wimbledon last year and the U.S. Open a year ago the French Open has eluded her and that's her mother and Coach Melanie Molitor, she at one time a top 20 player in Czechoslovakia. In essence, uh, with the long shots in the other half, the other semifinal, and he feels this is the Wimbledon championship, and the defending champion serves to open the match. And also, many people feel that Novotna's got a good shot in this match because many people think uh, Martina Hingis is not the player that she was this time last year as far as confidence. She's had a few bad losses for her this year. The players certainly know that she's vulnerable. Of her five defeats, the only woman to beat her twice, Venus Williams. She's played her way very nicely into this tournament. Did not look impressive that first weak at all, but that Arantxa Sanchez Vicario was like a wake-up call, and she knows what she has to do to win. I, I still think she's she's the better player. It's a rare ace for Hingis. The service game, not her strength, but then a service winner. So she announces early she's ready to defend. I've got some great ideas for a website. We could have a spinning logo or a flaming logo. You know what would be a great idea? If people with PCs anywhere could order our products, and that was all tied together, inventory, billing, vendors, you know, the works, then that would change everything. I don't know how to do that. Announcing John McEnroe in the Legends of Wimbledon. You cannot be serious! Oh, yes, we are! Call 1-800-599-7799 and relive the baddest at his best and his worst. Please tell me! Get ready to grip your seat as the Mac battles Connors and Borg. Share his defeat and his triumph with tennis that takes your breath away. It's all in John McEnroe, Legends of Wimbledon. Call 1-800-599-7799. Watch the old master as you've never seen him before and on the path back to glory. Also available, the Wimbledon official film and the Ash Connors classic match from 1975. Call 1-800-599-7799 and pay only $19.95 each plus shipping and handling. Buy two of these thrill-packed videos and get the third absolutely free. You've got to be kidding me. It's 
true, Mac. Own a piece of tennis history. Call now, 1-800-599-7799. This is yesterday and doubles to get to the quarterfinals. Novot now able to volley that lob winner. And you can see how much they are enjoying each other and their play on the double side. They're the number one seeds. They won the French championship in Paris a month ago. But it's all business and serious faces today as Novotna serves her first game. Didn't get a ball over the net and Hingis is game oh. well the strategy this match is going to be very similar to yesterday's match against Venus Williams I mean you have you have a certain volleyer you have a counter puncher on the other hand there's a real contrast Yana will be doing everything to get to the net because that's where she makes her points. And Hingis enjoys a target to shoot at. I think Martina Hingis passes better than Venus Williams and returns serve better. And Venus still came pretty close to beating Yana, so that's why I still have to. She has the edge in my eyes. Ten points that backhand for Love 30. Six straight points for Hingis. Doesn't that sound familiar? Isn't that the way the other match began? And then Natalie Tosia pulled exactly. it together and went on to win. And Hingis can get up there and score as well. It's awfully tricky when you're playing doubles with someone and you start playing them in the semis of the finals and major tournaments because the person that's losing is definitely at the disadvantage and they start thinking, gosh, yeah, play doubles with her. She knows my game better than anyone. And that's how double teams very often break up. So it'd be interesting to see how long these two continue to play if they're meeting in this latter parts of these Grand Slam tournaments. yet to win a point and she falls two love down in a hurry. You see the best records of this year. Hingis with the best percentage. Venus Williams, Sanchez Vicario, Novotna fourth, Amport and Schneider, the other young player from Switzerland. All four of those top ones in the top draw too. They, <laughs> that was a brutal top section of the draw. Oh, Hingis very sharp. Nine consecutive points to open the match. Looking for that cross-court passing shot, Jan Novotna did not anticipate it down the line. So the majority of the points are won today with both semis down the line passing shots. I thought Jan Novotna would do well here because where she impressed me was not on any other grass court tournament, but at the French Open. You know, she almost beat Monica Sell. She reached the quarters. She was just, her ground strokes were better than normal. She can get her ground game going and get some approach shots and come into the net. We know that her, her volley's very secure and very stable. part of her game is the ground game but boy she's passing like that and having five and six shot rallies with Martina Hingis who has the best groundies in the game she's in good shape for this match and the second ace for Hingis not a lot of power but good placement so much has been said about Venus Williams 125 mile per hour serve but that doesn't win you points just because of the speed. You have to place it also. Mm -hmm. 
ping us around 90 miles an hour and still effective. 90 to 100. Ooh, too good on the return. Very often, if you're not a natural volleyer and a baseline, you'll take that ball in the air and just drive it. The high ground stroke is what it really is. Second deuce here at Two Love to open the semifinal, in case you're just joining us. Natalie Tosia of France rallied from a set down to defeat Natasha Zvereva. She's in the Wimbledon finals. Meet the winner of this match. Like Zvereva in the match before, Novotna has been very successful as a doubles player. 69 career doubles titles, 21 in singles. Martina Hingis showing us some serve and volley. Shows me that she's very confident at this point. action on this top spin lob. I mean, like 20 years ago, you just lobbed with no spin whatsoever, but nowadays, you got to swing your racket fast and bring it in with the spin. Point for three, love. has a covered return center to protect you and your belongings all the way to the terminal. Modern art? Not exactly. Mark McGuire, Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Piazza, Cal Ripken, Tony Gwynn, Juan Gonzalez, Barry Bonds, Alex Rodriguez, Sammy Sosa, and more. Baseball's Night of Stars, the All-Star Game, Tuesday in primetime at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on NBC. Had a chance to visit with this remarkable 17-year-old this week. And while her life story is short, is it full? And she is indeed very mature. I, I, was, uh, I love to read the London papers, the Times, the Telegraph, Guardian. There's some wonderful writers. Look what Martin Johnson said about her. Triumph or uh -huh. adversity, the Wimbledon champion remains the driest of Martinez, neither shaken nor stirred. <laughs> with or without an olive. Well, she's 17 going on 40. I mean, as far as maturity and and she only knows how to be a champion. She's been a champion since she's been about nine years old. She started winning junior tournaments. She expects to win. And she enjoys every minute on court. Now, no, 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 but I need to do something to start enjoying this Whoa. opening uh, set. Love three. And that wind is not good for this toss. Look at this toss. It's very much like Steffi Groff. Twice as high as most players. 
Just had a, an emotionally charged up match with Venus Williams yesterday and pressure on both players and you just have to forget about it and come back and get psyched up again. It's not always easy. Another, Another backhand so miss, far. yeah. She's that backhand usually very steady. And Martina Hingis is just all too familiar with her game because they are doubles partners. in a corner where she couldn't deliver a winner. But she had her back against the wall and she still produced this shot. Triple break point for a four love lead. Nine one and winners already, Hingis. Oh, and you know, she, a rare miss. She looked lethargic and sort of flat that first week and getting a lot of criticism in the press and from analysts, tennis analysts saying, Oh, you know, we don't think she's going to win and she's not fired up, but it's almost like she's been saving her energy for the second week when the tournament really starts for her. Oh. And it, it almost sounds cocky when she says the tournament starts for me the second week, but you know what? It's, it, she's right. Two breakers denied by Novotna. That western grip. Her hand's way over. Good serve by Novotna to dig out a love 40. Questions of chair umpire Fiona Edwards. To my imagination, or there have been a lot of, I mean, are, are the players just hoping that these balls will go in, or have there been a lot of bad calls? Because we've seen the last couple of days a lot of the players questioning judgments. Fourth break point for Hingis. Botna being pinned at the baseline where she doesn't want to be, but boy, her groundies look pretty, pretty tough today. She's kicked away four break points against her. Back to Deuce. And finally gets to game point. Going up and looking at the net. Nothing sticking up there. <laughs> I think that's where the uh, microphone, that little microphone. <laughs> yeah, that there it uh, is. signals a, a let to the chair umpire. No net judge here at Wimbledon. around the grass court. Hingis just running her corner to corner, 
fantastic winner from Novak. She gets down, she bends her knees, she moves like a cat. That's what she was doing at the French Open, was just hitting 10, 15 groundies each point. I think that tournament really helped to groove her ground strokes. are becoming her strengths and her strengths are becoming her weaknesses. She's not winning as many points at the net where she normally does. Hingis dictating some long rallies only to find her opponent winning the point. That can be even more exhausting. 1530. Novotna, the way we're seeing her play, has not won a Grand Slam title. Wimbledon would have to be her best shot, but if she doesn't win Wimbledon, she'd have to be the greatest player in the history of the game not to have won a major. One break point gone, another to get back on serve. She's been a finalist three times. Of course, last year losing to Hingis, 93 was that Heartbreaker to Groff when she seemed to have it won. One point from 5-1 in the third and the 91 Australian Open final the other. Yeah, she's the fifth player to go over $9 million and yet doesn't have a Grand Slam win. How many 17-year-olds could have handled that dying slice that she just did and just slice it back for a winning point? Well, that's what makes her great. It, it's not that one powerful shot, like a big serve, a big forehand, maybe like Steffi Groff has, but it, you really can't see it. They're, they're intangibles, and she adapts so beautifully to every opponent, to every surface. And that's instinctive. That's something that you can't teach. Well, I asked her uh, in our visit to rate what she felt were her strengths. I'll give you that answer after this. That wasn't one of them. <laughs> she felt her backhand from the baseline and her return of serve. And we don't talk much about her return of serve, but certainly one of the best in the women's game. She said, I really do see all the court. I see where everything is. Like that. How much is that is instinctive and how much is just learning as you go through all the ranks and just being a very smart athlete? Well, I think that's the one quality that the Williams sisters don't have because they haven't played as much as Martina Hingis. And I think it's instinctive. But I think it's just playing a lot of matches, and in her case, playing a lot of junior matches where the pressure is. 
Yeah. Speaking of pressure, Novotna right on the net to hurry that shot. Third deuce in this, again, another long Hinga service game. Also, I, I love the attitude of this new generation. I mean, they, I think parents are teaching kids now that to believe in themselves and they can do anything they want if they work hard enough and they believe that they can. And therefore, it comes across as sort of cocky and maybe even arrogant, but it's how you will succeed is if you believe in yourself, and they do. Third break point now earned by Novotna. Another chance to get even on serve. That slice backhand approach. She hits from over her shoulder. And there's the break. And Hinga's a little frustrated. Flips her racket. It's 3-2. Something big is happening at Ford. It's the Ford Big Time Sales Event. Now through July 7th, you can get 0.9% APR financing plus $500 owner loyalty cash on Ford Taurus, Contour, Escort, and ZX2. That's 0.9% APR plus $500 cash. And get big time savings on other Ford cars and trucks. The world's biggest selling division wants your business big time. But hurry, the Ford Big Time Sales Event ends July 7th. It feels strong and dependable, yet refreshing. Fix it and fresh, a stronger, longer hold, combined with a cool, crisp sensation. Fix it and fresh, and forget it. Trust. We are not born with an instinct to trust. Trust must be earned. Trust must be proven. We earn it with integrity. We prove it with sound advice. Trust is the ultimate measure of our success. And that is why we measure success one investor at a time. Shave it off. Just... <laughs> OK. No, it's just as dangerous. Well, we can take care of that. Head and shoulders? Unlike regular shampoos, head and shoulders helps prevent flakes before they start. Glad I didn't do something stupid like shave my head. Head and shoulders. Martina Hingis, she etched her name into the record books here at the All England Club last year. Became the youngest player in the open era to win a Wimbledon singles title. 16 years, nine months old. The first Swiss woman ever to win Wimbledon. Three tough sets over Jana Novotna, her opponent in the semifinals today. the youngest player to ever win any Wimbledon title when she teamed up with Helena Sokova and she was 15 years old and they won that double event a lot of firsts for this young woman and Yana Novotna did she play some game that last game to break Angus what points and battled through it appeared Angus in command and Novotna made all the shots 2-3 Lottie Dodd, 1887, remember? She was the youngest ever, and Martina, since the turn of the century, the youngest Wimbledon champion. Mo Connolly was only 17 in nine months when she won Wimbledon on her way to a Grand Slam. 2-3, 30 love. Yeah, Nevada, the only player in the top 10 to, to still have that classic serve volley game. Emulated herself after Hanna Manlikova, Martina Navratilova, the other Czech players. And luring Hingis to the net, where she's not quite as effective as is Novotna. Martina Hingis enjoys coming to the net. Hanna Manlikova, who's Yana's coach, has been with her, boy, for about eight years now. 
She's won some Grand Slam titles, so she knows she's been there. She's been on center court. She's dealt with the nerves. Hopefully she can help her. And an easy hole. And this opening set is even at three games all. Probably watching the TV that first semifinal match where Vera Tozzi had used those shots about 30, 40 times in that match. They were watching, don't you think? Oh, they? absolutely. Both women to the net 15 times. <laughs> and a servant volley from Hingis there. But Martina Hingis playing at a fast pace, very much like Steffi Groff used to. You just go right up to the line and you serve. Jan Novotny, a little bit slower tempo. Jan Novotny is the more thoughtful player, I, I think, at this point, because she has to have a plan. First double fault. Very different approaches. Jan huh? Novotny, very mechanical. She knows what she has to do. Martina Hingis, she, she can wing it anytime she wants, and she doesn't have to to decide until the last split second where she wants to hit that ball. That slicing approach really sets it up. But look at Yana. She's waiting for that down the line. Very, very unlike the other women in the other semifinal, she has more of an instinct up there to where the passing shots are going to be hit. Another point where it appeared Hingis in control only to find Novana coming up with one big shot after another. Even Hingis seemed to appreciate. Still smiling. What other champions would be smiling after a, losing a big point like that? Not many. That was for 4-3. Now back to Deuce. Novotna, break point. Best I've seen her play in the championship these last two games. Unfortunately, she's been known to be a spotty player. She can play brilliant, brilliantly like this for three or four games in a row and then make some errors. So uh, let's see if she can keep up this, this tempo. presents Who's Next? Henrietta Nagiova, lost amid the hype surrounding the youth movement in women's tennis, has been the emergence of 19-year-old Henrietta Nagiova of Slovakia. She lost in the second round here to Steffi Graf, 
but earlier this year she reached the fourth round of both the Australian and the French Open. Some say she'll be next. Henrietta Nagiova. And of course they're all aiming at uh, the young 17 year old Martina Hingis. 65 straight weeks she's been number one in the world. And in her eighth consecutive semifinal of a Grand Slam. And it would appear she's going to be a part of uh, this phase of top level tennis for at least another decade. But she's fallen behind uh, Yana Novot, who's put together four sensational games and a 4 3 lead. that she's hitting these passing shots because she usually wins the, the points at the net and here she is at the baseline. Came over the top of that backhand, doesn't do that very often. I just think she's been hitting her ground strokes. Unbelievable for her. These players know Martina Hingis' game. It's a little different trying to stay number one than it is to get there. And even Martina Hingis recognizes this. Yana just anticipating her every shot. The first year was easy. I mean, nobody knew anything about her game. It was very intimidating playing her. But now, it's just a different story. She feels the pressure. And finally, a point one by Hingis, 30 15. It's not as if Hingis isn't playing well. Novod now playing at the highest of levels. Now, there's a rare error by Novod in this stretch of four games. It's 30 all. Talking of uh, number one, Hingis. 65 straight weeks, but uh, Steffi Graf, 374 consecutive weeks at number one. Talk about domination, Martina, Chris, Monica. And a break point. So playing so well, and then two loose points by Novotna, and suddenly here's Hinga sitting on a break for four all. It's going to be tougher to keep those high numbers because there's more depth, simply nowadays than there was, you know, back 10, 20 years ago. Pacific. We invite you to join us for the men's semifinals as NBC's coverage of Wimbledon continues. Sampras against Henman. Will that be an emotional match? Sampras is going for five titles. Henman, well, it's been 25 years since a Brit made it to the semis. Then Krychek and Ivanisevic in the other semi. What I mean about being predictable, the players know Martina Hingis's game now, and they know that her high percentage shot, passing shot especially, is a down the line backhand.
you know, she grew up, was going to be a gymnast. They had picked her out of school, and Czechoslovakia is an outstanding potential athlete. Thought she'd be a gymnast. Interesting story associated with how that career ended at age eight. Good instincts here on Martina Hingis. Just flicks that ball. Gets it so quickly that nobody can't get over to cover. Top of the rise. 30-15 at four all opening set. the ball she said oh, oh I should have gone cross court yeah. here she just went to the open court watched the ball so well she didn't see Novotna dart over there perhaps so you have to keep a third eye you have to keep your other eye on your opponent where she's headed good to have three eyes in tennis and a break point for Novotna her gymnastics teacher Saw her dad pick her up from practice and saw her dad at 6'5", 220 and said, you're out of here. <laughs> you're going to be too big for gymnastics. And so then she took up tennis at age eight. And it's become one of the greats, number three seed. <laughs> the third break of Hingis' service. Novotna serves for the opening set when we come back. What will make the best business news even better? The Wall Street Journal in real time at CNBC, the global business news network. Business stories reported live as they happen, direct from journal bureaus across the country. Profitable leads delivered as they develop. Real depth. The context. The expertise of Pulitzer Prize winning reporters, CNBC and the Wall Street Journal team up to make the best business news on television. The Wall Street Journal at CNBC. Real time. Real depth. Now through July 7th, save big time on the trucks that work big time during the Ford Big Time Sales Event. Get the biggest savings of the year on the biggest, toughest trucks ever built Ford Top. Like up to $1,750 in savings on Ford Ranger 4x4. That's up to $1,750 in savings for all Ford and GM owners. The world's biggest selling division wants your business big time. But hurry, the Ford Big Time Sales Event ends July 7th. Heading up the research team, I do three or four dives a day. Long hours, bag lunches, but I can't afford to get slowed down by irregularity. My doctor recommended Metamuso. It's not a chemically altered fiber, not an artificial stimulant. The only leading brand with 100% natural fiber is Metamucil. Keeps me regular, gently. So the only thing dragging is the anchor. Metamucil, the doctor's natural choice for regularity. NBC's coverage of Wimbledon continues tomorrow at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific with Pete Sampras in the Gentleman Semifinals. Plus, nightly updates at 11.35 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, all concluding with breakfast at Wimbledon. Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific. The Championships, Wimbledon on NBC. Iana Novotna once again has reclaimed the lead, will serve for the set. Well, Iana Novotna has to be happy with these shots. I mean, obviously, it's not the strongest part of her game, her ground stroke game. But she's just picking a spot, picking a target, and going for these shots. It shows confidence to me. It also shows that the court's slow. You know, it's not lightning fast. These balls are just sitting up perfectly for these players to pass. And of her winners, 12, eight of those at the net, as expected. Serves 5-4, opening set.
Remember, she won the opening set in the Wimbledon final last year, six games to two. And Ingus rallied three and three to win it. Hard to believe this is a semifinal match. I keep thinking this is a final match. I look out there and I see the two best players in this tournament on paper and on the court. That Martina Hing is talking to herself. Looking a little flustered at this point. On the part of Martina Hing, it's just not getting to the ball. See the wind uh, really gusting now on this cool day, and Yana Novadna three set points. a bit aggressive and <laughs> forceful for being down triple set point. And there it is. <laughs> 41 minutes. Yana Novotna down early. Three love. Ran off four straight games. Was broken. Broke back and holds for a 6-4 set. Look at that. Winners 13-12, unforced 12-13. That's how Pretty we. Pretty similar, yeah. And Hingis even has a higher service percentage. Whoa. But we've seen this before, and this is where Hingis always has a. There's always a possibility of a loss, of course, because Jan Avon is such a great player. But this is where she usually lifts the level of her play, which made her a champion all along. She plays usually as well as she has to. But she has not scored as well as she'd like at the net. Dick, I, I make a prediction here. If Jan Ivana can, if she starts to beat Martina Hingis, that doubles combo is no, going to be no longer, is no longer going to happen because it just seems to me Jan Ivana is very familiar with her game and she knows, she knows Martina Hingis' patterns, where, where the balls are going. would be a big game for Novotna already up a set. She can take Hingis' serve to open the second. 15-30. Oh. Even when Novotna misses, it's just by inches. Answer to that. And she does break. Go from the second. Yana Novotna. Up a set, up a break. Listen up, guys. You can only survive in what you find in the forest. We'll meet in five days here. Good luck.
Honda CRV has its own picnic table, waterproof storage compartment, and two power outlets. For those times when you have to rough it. I love nature. It doesn't matter if you work for a big company or a startup. Whether you work for yourself or to help others. Fidelity has a way to help you prepare for the day when you won't need to work at all. Whether you're changing jobs. Or happy where you are. Retired. Or just starting out. More people trust their retirement plans to Fidelity than any other company. It's your retirement. It's our job to help you make the most of it. Celebrate the 4th of July with the WNBA on NBC. Phoenix and Jennifer Gillum face Charlotte and Andrea Stinson. Saturday at 1 Eastern on NBC. Welcome back. Jana Novotna sitting on a set and a break lead after yesterday's win. She had some fun when B BBC asked her about uh, today's game plan. What are going to be the important things for you to do tomorrow if you're going to win? Well, guess what? <laughs> it's going to be coming in <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> simple as that? A very simple, simple game that. plan? Very simple as that. I shouldn't be talking about it with you too much because I'm sure Martina will be watching tonight. So I don't really want to discuss all my strategy. But uh, I was trying to learn from my mistakes from last year, even though that was a different situation because I was a little bit injured there. But uh, nevertheless, I will have the talk with my coach Hanna Mandlikova, we will discuss the plan and I sure will go out there and do my best. And her best indeed has taken her to a 6-4 capture of the opening set and an early lead here in the second. That's kind of an obvious answer to a question. <laughs> what are you going to do against Martini? Is, well, I'm going to stay back and push. <laughs> Obviously she's going to serve volley and try to come in as much as she can. You don't want to be trading ground strokes with Martina Hingis, the number one player in the world. She opened up the court with that sharp angled backhand, and uh, Yana says, <laughs> how big is this place? First sign of outward uh, negative emotion from Novot at low 30. Oh, beautiful. Love hoping to start connecting with some more backhands. She missed a few that last game. And as you said, Dick, she told you that's her favorite shot, and she thinks that's her best shot. Three chances to break back for Hingis. Eastern on NBC. The ladies tee it up for the U.S. Women's Open. Black Wolf Run Golf Course in Wisconsin. 1995-96 champion Annika Sornstam. Fresh off a dominating four-stroke win last weekend. Ready to make it three U.S. Women's Open titles in four years. <laughs> ladies Day on Saturday. The Women's Final from Wimbledon. WNBA and the U.S. Women's Open. Saturday at 3 Eastern on NBC. Now, Hing is trying to hold her serve. She's been broken four straight times.
But she anticipates what she had already started before Yana hit that ball to move in and just stabbed at it. And make a shot like that. And like she kept her racket in front of her the whole time, one-handed at that. 30 love at one all in the second. Whoa, that is long. That was definitely a pretty sloppy back in by Martina Hingis. This is, I mean, that is not a two-handed backhand. It's not a one-handed slice. I don't know what that was called. in the corner like that are skidding more because there is more turf left in that part of the court and both women had handled low skidding shots there and Novotna dumps her forehand in the net at 40-15. And Hingis holds first time after four straight breaks of her serve and it's 2-1 in the second. Hey, here at NBC, we understand that you probably missed some episodes of your favorite shows. Yeah, you probably got a little distracted. And that's why this summer, NBC is airing all the great episodes you missed. Because if you haven't seen it, it's new to you. Daddy's wallet is not a toy. Come here, no, 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 no. No! Quality, commitment, excellence. That's why NBC 739 was again awarded more Emmys than any other station in town. And that's coverage you can count on. The best players in women's tennis are coming to town for the Toshiba Tennis Classic, August 1st through the 9th. Venus Williams, Steffi Graf, Monica Sellis, Anna Gornikova, Lindsay Davenport, and the number one player in women's tennis, Martina Hingis. The 1998 Toshiba Tennis Classic. Call 760-438-5683 for ticket information. What's new, what's new from the new dad? What's new is that for a very limited time, we're offering zero down and zero payments for six months on every new Dodge. What's new, what's new? Or choose exceptionally low 1.9 financing on select vehicles, which can also save you money. What's new, what's new? Or select customers can get up to $2,000 cash back on select vehicles. What's new, what's new? But hurry in by July 6th. From the new Dodge. Six days, seven nights is the perfect summer movie. Oh, oh. Got a cup of coffee? Get right on it, ma'am. Harrison Ford. You still look good. Oh, I still am good. Six days, seven nights. Ready PG-13. Now playing. NBC 739. Again awarded more Emmys than any other station in town. The Championships, Wimbledon, brought to you by American Honda, maker of fine quality automobiles, motorcycles, and power equipment. And by United Airlines, you deserve a higher level of service. That's why United Airlines is rising. Where is that daughter Chris anyway? <laughs> Here I am, Mom. In the royal box and the royal parents, the lead and Jimmy Everett. He's enjoying wow. himself. Uh, when you were playing, he tough to get him here, wasn't it? Never. I mean, maybe once he came to Wimbledon, I couldn't get. But you know, he had double bypass surgery seven weeks ago, so I'm just glad he's here. Hmm. You're lucky. Well, Jana Novotna, after an incredible string of brilliant high-level play, a little hiccup here early in the second set. Now serves at one-two. How many times have we seen this before, though, when Martina Hingis has been down? I almost feel like she comes out, you know, with a big smile on her face, and she's just going to see how it goes and play some fun tennis. But, boy, I think she plays better when she gets upset. She gets angry. She gets some fire going. Yeah, she's broken after losing the first set, broken the first game, and then allowed only one point the next two games. Ouch. 
Thirty love. No Vatna now. Thirty love. In this fourth game of the second set. those ground strokes not getting down low enough but also she knows she feels pressure because she knows she has to hit the, the ball deep or else Jan is just going to come in and be at the net played in great spirit. <laughs> Different reactions there. Novot uh, stole one and uh, Hingis with that squeal had the open court couldn't deliver to all. Stand there. And Martina Hingis, two points ago, holding her lower back a little bit. I know she complained after her match with Arancha Sanchez Vicario that she had hit a lot of balls and that it hurt, but I think basically she was bending low for a lot of shots, and that's why. Wow. So keep an eye on that. Because Jan Nirvana is really slicing that backhand low and forcing her to bend lower than normal. Steady for Novotna today. She's yeah. been a rock on that wing. Yeah. That's the shot that usually she'll go, go into the fence if she's a little bit tight. See if it gets to be five all in the third, though, where it goes. hard on these players too when it rains the first week of Wimbledon because then they have to play a lot of matches in a row this is the fourth day for singles they've all had doubles matches every day they're here till probably 9 9 30 at night the weather's damp and cold and not easy on the body for the depth of Hingis's shots in this game especially she's had Novotin is staggering back off the baseline to keep it in play. Point for 3 2. to ensure a dream. At the Hartford, we help you do just that. With annuities, mutual funds, and financial plans designed to help you look forward to the future, not just protect you from it. Enjoy the heritage and distinction of Wimbledon Tennis Apparel. 
brought to you by Lilies of Beverly Hills. Available in the finest tennis clubs, shops and resorts. Style, uniting past and present with comfort and quality. Wimbledon, where excellence is a tradition. Lopez. At last year's U.S. Women's Open, she suffered heartbreak, falling short by just one stroke, her fourth time as runner-up in the national championship. Now, can she finally capture one prize that has always eluded her? The U.S. Women's Open. Coverage begins Saturday at 3 Eastern, noon Pacific on NBC. Yana Novotna seeking her first Grand Slam championship. 6-4 and on serve 3-2 here in the second. She's been at the net as promised today. Well, that's no surprise. I mean, this is where she wants to be to finish off her points. She's instinctive. She's got good technique, good touch. She's always at the right place at the right time. Frustrating her opponent, in this case, Martina Hingis. Novotna serving 2-3. First set in the bank. You get Justin joining, joining us. Toziat rallied from a set down, 6-3 in the third to beat Natasha Zvereva. She's in the finals. Hey! We've come to expect Jan Nevada to be making these points at the net, but where she surprised me has been her ground game. The, the passing shots, the patience she has, the consistency. And I saw that at the French Open. I, that really impressed me. You have to have both to play in grass. It's misleading. Everyone thinks, oh, if you have a certain volley, you have an advantage. But... Hey! You have to have both of those elements. It's her 13th Wimbledon, and of course the obvious there, will that be a lucky number for her? She's off to the proper start today. to read that, wouldn't it? It's hard to read, but again, the great volleyers, they just keep moving in close to the net, and that's a good play. Going back to that uh, winning lob by Hingis, almost as if she'd been studying some of your film. Uh, that was very familiar. Two breakers. Taken back, 30-40. Chance for a 4-2 lead for Hingis, who has made good on three of eight now. Novotna, much higher percentage. Four of six as she uh, won that opening set. Delicious chances for Hingis escaping. As we approach the one hour mark in this match. either. Not many of the net cords have uh, bounced over. They've 
A very tight net here and rejected. I just sense, though, that if Martina Hingis can just stay with Jan, Jan and Novotna, I know where my money would be. Get into a third set situation and it's even. Who has the better nerves? Oh, yeah. And we've seen some of Jana Novotna's best tennis in this match. We still haven't seen Martina Hingis' best tennis. It's almost there. Flashes, as Flashes. was the case there. But not on a consistent basis. Both these players looking up at the player's box after every point. It's funny how some players just, they need that emotional support. And other players never look up. Steffi Groff can find it within herself. She doesn't need to look up. Point for three all in the second. She leads by a set, Novotna. Prevail. But uh, even during that rally, it's remarkable how Novotna is staying with her. She's really She's hitting a lot of her. balls from the baseline when she has to. At a tournament steeped in tradition, Rolex clock has graced center court for 21 years and now reads 102. Advantage. And a break point for Hingis, her third in this game. Again, a chance for a 4-2 lead. Oh, what a shot. That's wicked to get a cross-court slicing approach like that. It just pins you in the corner. These bounces are also getting lower and lower. I think as each day goes on, it's the court is playing that way, it's starting to favor the player that can slice the best. <laughs> also, you sense there's less pressure when Yana Novotna is down in a game. That's when she produces her best tennis. Then when she gets up, she just maybe goes for a little too much or gets a little tentative. She just doesn't quite play the same way. Novotna's serve in that last game, three break points, but Yana holds on. That was a huge game because Martina Hingis could have been up 4-2, and I think the set would have been hers. She's a great front runner. She could have just run along with that set, but now it's a different story, and she's a little bit annoyed with that call. And it looked as if she had a right to be. tough when those bad calls are on game point. It's different if it's a 15-all point. Who just stayed in for a second serve? Yeah. And another.
Body language from the Hingasan, not good. Love 30. She looks a little bewildered, a little flustered out there. Not with the usual confidence and the cockiness that she usually has, and the smiles aren't there either. But then when she's behind, she even gets more aggressive and, and goes for more shots, takes more chances. Two break points for Novotna and a 4-3 lead. After winning the first set 6-4. Made good on most of her chances. everything in this point. That drop shot just sat up a little bit too high. It's an easy shot for Martina Hingis. Still fighting another break point is Hingis. And an eighth. Oh my. Oh thank you. She <laughs> kissed the sky there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little vulnerable out there. And if Jan Nevana just gives her enough openings, this match is going to change dramatically. Can't afford to make unnecessary errors like that. And she knows it. a difficult play for Melanie Mollitzer's daughter. That ball dying at her feet. Deuce at three all. Yeah. Yana continuing to just yell at herself and get herself pumped up and made so many good plays in this match. He really has been terrific throughout. Yeah. And another eight. <laughs> <laughs> her fourth. And her serve's not even the best part of her game. It's like her weakness. Both uh, at break point, she comes up with an ace in this game. Such a natural flow to her swing, though, doesn't she? Nothing hitchy about it. What a remarkable statistic if you were just joining in late in the second set. Who leads in aces? Hingis, four to zero. <laughs> the muscles of the 17 year old. Oh. Has to do with her hands, I think. Good wrist action up there. Good extension. Once again, playing great when she's behind in these games. To many tennis players, the toughest shot in the book. The backhand overhead. And look at that angle. Deuce number four.
Martina Hingis throwing her racket in the net, and I thought I heard her say, "Oh, come on!" Yeah, it was a You're play. Not it was to be playful. That? <laughs> Yana Novotna not looking at her. Well, that's the fourth break point swept away in this agonizingly long, exciting game. <laughs> But you sense this game will turn the whole match. So whoever wins this game is definitely going to have the confidence and momentum going for them. Three all fifties. <laughs> that helps the temperament when you get a three point like that. It's interesting. Martina Hingis is looking at Yana and ha having a few comments. Yana it will, is avoiding eye contact with Hingis. And another big serve wide to the ad court and somehow Hengus wraps her muscles around a very tough game. It's 4-3. Last year, American... Ovatna, like it or not, she'll always be remembered for this scene in 1992, six years ago in the finals, so close to winning one point from 5-1 in the third against Steffi Graf and just couldn't hold it in. And the Duchess uh, congratulated her, said, you'll do it someday. And then she said, I couldn't hold it back. Uh, weeping on the Duchess's shoulder. And I think she's been a sentimental favorite by the British fans ever since. They really want her to, to win this Wimbledon title. Well, they love to watch the way she plays on grass. I mean, she knows it so well. The game is completely suited to the grass courts. Well, she had so many chances that last game to take a break lead with a set lead. You know, and since that match, she sort of had that choke tagged around her neck, and she hates that. It really bothers her. She says to the press, can't you use a different word like, you know, I got tight? Because <laughs> believe me, every top player has choked. Or gotten tight, or whatever or word too you want aggressive. to use. Yeah, or tentative, or passive. Actually, the first match she really choked was at the French Open against Shanda Rubin. She was at five love, forty love in the third set, and found a way to lose that match. And that's unheard of in tennis circles to be up that far. this entire set only one break that was the first game when Hingis was broken Novotna's service games have been short Hingis has had to struggle to hold serve 30 love very close there 64 to 65 Hingis uh, broken and then broke back and then since that point Novotna not threatened. This has been a match of finesse. So many drop shots and drop volleys and topspin lobs and... Couldn't ask for a final <laughs> any better than this. Yet when they want to, they can drill a passing shot or hit a big first serve. Had everything, every element. Ooh. sense that that was a miss hit that first overhead and she put that second one away two points for four all <laughs> really uh, can't remember when her forehand no button has been more effective
in deep trouble that last game and came up with two aces and a service winner. There are her four aces in the <laughs> entire match. <laughs> Having some fun with it all. Yeah, well, she needs some more now. Not all funny games. It's four all in the second set. She's lost the first set. Be nice to come up with a few more of those aces or some big first serves anyway. Get some cheap points right here. much of an approach shot it's very average nothing on it no sting on it oh! they're not missing by much though are they dick when they're no. missing it's we're not seeing balls three feet out we're seeing an inch here an inch there See what happens if she doesn't get that first serve in. Nobody no winning the majority of the points off her second serve. Pretty high percentage, though, 71 percent. not going in do you continue to go for a big first serve or do you let up a little bit and go for a three-quarter first serve she went for a three-quarter right there it's wide and break point no botna. what a point this is if she converts she'll be serving for the championship final Ooh. at Wimbledon on Saturday and certainly would be deemed uh, the heavy favorite should she make it. And the dilemma for Hingis is that Nobody has been so strong off the forehand side that she has to play to what is the strength the back end which leads to that sliced approach. So but she, she, she has to get in on Novotna's back end before Novotna comes to the net, you know, and, and the talk of the locker room all week has been Martina Hingis is very beatable, and boy, Dick, last year it was easy for her this year, though, to hold on to that number one ranking. Looking at what lays ahead with her as far as the Williams sisters playing great, Kornikova only getting better, Sellis and Groff staging some more comebacks. It'll be tough for her to hold on to number one. Two points from the final. emotions inside three match points
It's a hugely popular win. They're on their feet. It's a rare, a rare example of the affection that the fans of England have for the winner. Yana Novotna, 6'4", 6'4". It's a high compliment, especially with her history. She did not beat herself. She beat a very tough opponent. She won the match. She was the better player. From both that sliced backhand to some powerful forehands and impeccable, as always, at the net. Yana Novotna will go to the final of Wimbledon. And they'll meet each other and join forces in the doubles later today. They're fourth up on court one. We'll return to Wimbledon after this. You heard about the high endurance, Piotr? shot back in London with the...